Welcome to Video Assist. Charges that are placed in parallel plates, such as an electron placed here, will be accelerated to the right. The interesting thing is that the force on the charged particle at this location and at this location and even at this location is constant. The electric force between parallel plates depends only on the voltage between the plates. The separation between the plates, which is given by D, and the charge itself. If we were interested in calculating that acceleration, we first calculate the electric force. It can be calculated with a series of formulas that look like this. The electric force between the plates times the distance between the plates is equal to the charge measured in coulombs. If it was an electron, it would be this many coulombs, times the voltage. The voltage between the plates is usually given. And that equals the kinetic energy of the particle if it's moved across the plate. So that would equal one half times the mass. If it was an electron, it would be this, times the velocity. This velocity is the velocity that it would have in this location here if it had started here, the final velocity. Let's look at a specific problem. If you refer to Unit 3, Activity Section A, Activity 6, Example number 2, we see a charged plate, charged particle, that has entered some parallel plates of where the voltage is 450 volts and the distance of the plates is 15 centimeters. There is some additional information given that the particle happens to have the speed of 5.0 times 10 to the 8 centimeters per second as it enters here. How did that happen? Well probably this plate was negative and this one was positive and it was accelerated across here and maybe gained this speed as it entered these other plates here which we often refer to as deflecting plates. This horizontal velocity, and that's what that is, the original horizontal velocity, will remain constant as it moves across the plates. However, because there now is a vertical velocity upward, the actual electron will trace a par parabolic path or an arc. The problem asks what speed or velocity does it have when it exits the plates. The first thing you could do is calculate the time that it is in the horizontal plates. Well that time can be calculated by distance divided by velocity. The distance in this particular case would be 0.15 meters and the velocity would be 5.0 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. I've converted that to meters per second. That works out to be about 3 times 10 to the negative 8 seconds. What that means is that it was in the deflecting plates for this period of time. However, while it was between the deflecting plates, a vertical force existed. Let's take a look at the formula for calculating the vertical force. I'm calculating the upward force that while it's between the deflecting plates. Well, this electric force times the separation between the plates. That was actually given in the problem. That was three centimeters this distance, so we'd put a .03 in here, times the charge on an electron. You never have to memorize the charge on an electron. That's always given to you if you need it. Times the voltage, which is 450. When you calculate the electric force, this is the vertical electric force, you'll get 2.4 times 10 to the negative 15 newtons. And of course, that direction is upward. Once you have the force, that allows you to calculate the vertical acceleration, which is force over mass. We would take this value, put it into here, divide by the mass of an electron, which you can look up. It's 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31. And that'll give you a vertical acceleration, which is 2.63. 2.63 we'll make that 2.63 
3 times 10 to the 15 meters per second squared. Now if we want to calculate the velocity at this point, we ha still haven't calculated the vertical velocity. We can, we can do so by using this formula here. Velocity, final velocity, equals the initial velocity plus the acceleration times the time. And we have those values. What is the initial vertical velocity? Zero. It wasn't accelerating at all vertically. The acceleration is what we've this number right here, and the time that we that it's between the plates is this number over here. That will give us a specific velocity. In this case, case it's about 7,890 meters a second, heading upward. Well, this is the vertical velocity, but the question asks, what is the actual velocity? I won't actually solve the problem completely, but you'll have to draw yourself a little right angle triangle like this. And they're asking, what is this velocity here as it exits the plate? The velocity right there is made up of two components. The initial component is the 5.0 times 10 to the 6 meters a second. That's the horizontal velocity. It was constant. The 7,890 meters a second goes here. You can complete the problem by using Pythagorean theorem to find out what that velocity is, but don't forget also to find the angle. Velocity also requires an angle. I hope that helps. Uh, again, go back and look in Activity 6, Section A, for the full solution.